Hello everyone, and here I'm with another uh, Lego Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and, and well, maybe my last Star Wars one for now. Some others might slip up in the future, I'm not sure, but stay tuned until the end of the video. So, today's of which is on the original Millennium Falcon from 2000. So on the front of the large manual, see Lego logo, is that number 7190, it has then Star Wars uh, border seen until 2001. Picture of it flying off of Tatooine. Then all the minifigs included and saying the Land Falcon, of course. And on the back is it kind of broken up and all the dimensions of it and some of the alternate builds. And the back part of it, which does have a comic, which a lot of these older sets often attempted to have. And, of course, the numbers of some panels are linked to the alternate builds. And just flips over to one of the alternate builds. And, and then one with the arrow there shows just another one with that's just five steps on how to build that. Like they went above and beyond with alternate builds, of course. First of all, for the mini fig lineup. Oh, wait, hang on. First of which, which is the original Luke Skywalker, which was also present in the '99 Lance Speeder and 2003-4 Cantina set. But, but the torso print of which. And like print, also all quite good, to, and still holding up to this day. And also no back torso print or double side face. It's since an older figure, of course. And the same exact hair piece that they've always used until uh, the first Death Star in 2008, of course. And next to which is uh, Princess Leia. Oh, first time ever having her. And all the pieces of which, just about the same as the 20th anniversary version in the 20th anniversary Slave 1, of course, but without the 20th anniversary logo on the back, of course. But besides that, and the uh, print of which, uh, quite good for the time, and the hair piece of which, also quite alright, until with the later versions improved a little bit. Next to which is Han Solo, who they also brought back in the 20th anniversary line, and, but with the same prints and everything, but without the 20th anniversary logo. So it is the actual original version, but, least, but besides that, the prints and all done quite good for the time, but also the prints all, also similar to other versions, but other versions did have dark pants and whatnot. Or dark blue pants, and yeah. And next to which is Chewbacca. Oh, which first time ever having him. Uh, also in the 2001 uh, ATST, of course, yeah. See, with the kind of creepy molded in eyes, of course. But in the, like, prints for the belt loop thing. Uh, it's done quite good. And, and at least. Quite nostalgic to many people. The good thing they changed up him up in 2014, of course. And next to which is the original R2D2, of which seems from 1999 and whatnot. Okay, so no back torso print and not much of head print, which since it's an earlier one, of course. But at least they did change it up over time. And and lastly is the original C-3PO, which they kept with for a long, long time, at least until 2008 or 2009, somewhere around there, when they gave him the regular gold color. So he was kind of uh, caramel-ish colored, and, but 
the headpiece of which is quite the same as from most all versions and the back torso print also all right and if for a little comparison with this later version as you can see which does have some better printing all around and also has some printed eyes of course which this old version does not and the back torso prints also quite similar but at least the new version does have actual wiring to it which is a normal sign but you know it's a 10 15 year difference it's also a sign of the times of course and, and now on to the set itself the millennium falcon itself oops sorry And of course, it's one of the most iconic spacecrafts of all time, and, and of course, always cool having it in Lego form, even though there were about five, six different versions of it put out over time. Like this from 2000, oh, yeah, 2000, and also in 2004, 2011, and 2015, 18, and 19 if not counting the two UCS ones. So like the front area of which also almost the same as from the later version but like with the with multiple uh, clear studs rather than a single one and of course a pair of the like rifle pieces from the classic space line of course at least until they did add in launchers in later versions and little thing with most of it is has a lot of big large panel pieces that they use from like old space lines like ufo and uh mtron and things and also present from them is the shield piece which does rotate and all also like the other version At least until they added a rectangular one with the 2015 Force Awakens version. And then it, on the sides is the like cockpit pieces of the TIE fighter sets, but in this opaque color with some printing onto it. And although there's a lot of blue and red kind of added throughout to it, but at least they kind of tried at the time. And as for the back part, which, so, which off, does kind of fold out so you can like represent someone coming out to, from it, of course. And also like all the other versions is as the blue tube piece that goes on the back and give it the boots. And the other side also quite the same. And as for this cockpit area, which a little bit more simpler than the other versions like just large jagged slope of course and also this cockpit piece which also used in life on mars sets which can like take off and oh, well. Pretty, nothing much but just a like printed slope with of course and also a couple of printed tiles of course and almost enough space to fit your Han Solo and Chewbacca minifigs into a horse. Well, almost kind of hard to. But if you know how to get them in right. for the bottom part of it. Also with those large pieces you also used on other classic space sets and also some more of those like extended pieces also from many 99 Star Wars sets. Also similar to other versions is that you can pull this down and it has the boarding ramp of course 
and from the other side of which can pull down and get this little escape thing in it. But it's kind of hard to do, but we'll see. I'll show you it actual in a minute. Okay, hang on. very few antenna pieces but used as the guns of it and also like the other versions can flip it open and have a little control panel in there or actually no control panels or anything but just enough space to fit a figure into it but all going the other versions just something that you can just pull right out and do all that but also unlike the other versions where the whole top part of it just pops right off and it's connected on just one single Technic pin when the other versions just flip multiple panels of unlike with the new 2019 version where just very few panels that do so here's which the whole complete interior of it at least two things you can open up and it's where you can store various things into also, you get a little thing holding the megaphone blaster and a little backpack, and also a little tool set, a pair of tools for when Luke gets his robotic hand, of course. And also, you get a little seat with the trademark uh, game board. And also, you do get a, this, a couple of printed slopes to add control panels, of course. And this whole thing you can put, take right off and fly your right with it, which other versions never did have. And that's for this front area where you can open up and take out this little crate like thing that has the rebellion symbol. Also, kind of also used in the 99 Y Wing. some other various tools and guns in of course. later versions being the 2015 or 2011 sorry only a Falcon set of course as you can see it's quite a little, little bit shorter and with this and with or since 2004 version all individual panels to flip in to get inside and cockpit area does open up a little differently you can see it's a little bit jetted off the ground a little more than the other versions. Also, doesn't have this kind of feature that other versions had. Uh, sorry that the uh, uh, satellite dish piece kind of fell off of this version, but it's still uh, circular anyways. But good thing with the Force Awakens version and the White Solo version is that it had a couple of pivoting ball joints to it, of course. It also has the like little fin things on the back part, which this version also doesn't have, but I can forgive it. Also with the old version, newer versions, it has a couple of panels that have a bit of grief on the sides, which the old version doesn't, but they tried. And 
So now on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think a pretty good version of the Millennium Falcon, and also probably the coolest of the 2000 line. Yeah, 2000 line. And like, of course, good couple of exclusive minifigs being C-3PO and Chewbacca, well, until with other sets at the time, and also first times of ever having them, and of course also Princess Leia, obviously, and also Han Solo, obviously. So, at least this is a bit of a sign of the times where you got plenty of good stuff uh, for the money. And also the same with like the other versions of it, and yeah. So does it hold up? Uh, almost a bit, but at least they did try, and of course improved over time, obviously. And if you still have this set from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And also, for this being my last Star Wars Throwback Thursday, well, there will be plenty of other themes for Throwback Thursday, so at least till the end of the year, obviously, of course. And all those more Star Wars ones might slip up here and there, but we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, we'll see what happens. And if you still have access to this set, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for